Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We have a random walk, which is a discrete time Markov chain. The states of the chain are the integers. The walk starts at zero. With probability P, it moves to one. With probability Q, which is one minus P, it moves to minus one. At any non-negative time instant N, if the walk is at the integer I, it is at I plus one in the next time instant with probability P or at I minus one with probability Q. So the steps taken at each time instant are IID. Each step is plus one with probability B minus one with probability Q. The integer the random walk visits at instant N is summation K from one to N DK. The case of the simple random walk is B equal to Q equal to one half. It is equally likely to take one step to the right or to the left. The interest here is the average number of distinct points visited during the walk. In other words, for time instance from one to N, what are the integers visited by the walk? We start at zero, perhaps at time instant one, the walk goes to one, then to two, then back to one, then to zero, then to minus one, then to zero, then to one. So here N is equal to seven. What are the integers visited? We have minus one, we have zero, we have one, and we have two. We have four points visited. We want the average number of the distinct points visited for a general positive integer N. We want to compute the expected number of the distinct points visited during the first N steps of the random walk, N being a positive integer. To obtain this quantity, we will need this probability F00 of N. This is the conditional probability given that X0 is equal to zero, zero is visited again for the first time after n steps it is not just that xn is equal to zero xk k from one to n minus one must not be equal to zero the entry into state zero at time instant n must be for the first time after the initialization of the random walk after n steps the walk is at integer xn the steps are plus or minus one and these are odd integers if n is odd, the sum of an odd number of odd integers is odd. So when n is odd, xn must be odd. For xn to be even, n is even. Returning to zero can only happen when n is a positive even integer. In that case, xn is a sum with an even number of terms. xn is equal to zero. If n is equal to 2m, where m is a positive integer, there are m terms in the sum equal to one and m terms equal to minus one. In the simple random walk, this probability of visiting zero for the first time after n steps is given by 2m choose m, one over four to the m, two m minus one. If we sum these probabilities over m, we get one, which means that the walk comes back to zero sooner or later with probability one. The states of the discrete time Markov chain representing the simple random walk are recurrent. In fact, we can show that they are null recurrent because the average number of steps to enter zero for the first time is infinite. The main task in this video is to compute the expected value of L of N, which is the number of distinct states or distinct integers visited during the first N steps of the random walk. So L of N is summation K from one to N, and then we have an indicator that a new state is visited at time instant K. By new, we mean that the state XK is not equal to xj for every g from 1 to k minus 1. We are interested in the expected value. The expected value of the indicator is the probability that a new state is visited at time instant k. This probability is the probability that xk is not equal to xj for every positive integer j from 1 to k minus 1. Note that xk is the sum of the first k steps, sum l from 1 to k dl. xj is the sum of the first j steps. We want these two sums to be unequal. Note that this summation here is summation L from one to j dl plus summation L from j plus one to k dl. If we want these two sums to be different, then this summation here must be non-zero. This is a sum involving k minus j of the steps. The d's are ILD random variables. The distribution of this sum is exactly the same as the distribution of the sum L from one to K minus G DL. And this sum here is XK minus G. The probability that a new state is visited at time instant K is the probability that XK 
k minus 1 is not equal to 0, x k minus 2 is not equal to 0, all the way to x1 is not equal to 0. This event here means that the integer 0 is visited for the first time after k steps or more. This probability is summation v from k to infinity f0, 0 of v. Recall that this probability is the conditional probability given that x0 is equal to 0, that the integer 0 is visited again for the first time after v steps. So the probability of interest is a sum of those probabilities v from k to infinity. The expected value we want to compute is this double sum, k from 1 to n, v from k to infinity, f0, 0 of v. Recall that to come back to 0, this must happen at even time instance. So this summation can be written as m from the ceiling of k over 2 to infinity, f0, 0, 0 of 2m. And this probability is given by this expression here. This summation has a closed form that can be established via induction. You can find this in the notes. The sum L from A to infinity, 2L choose L times 1 over 4 to the L, 2L minus 1 is 2A choose A, 1 over 4 to the A, 2A over 2A minus 1. Our result is like this, with A replaced by the ceiling of K over 2. The sum is G of K, which is the probability that 0 is visited for the first time after K steps or more. Note that G of 1 is equal to G of 2, G of 3 is equal to G of 4, because coming back to 0 must happen at an even instant of time. So this summation can be written as double the sum k from 1 to the floor of n over 2, g of 2k. And we have an extra term that is 0 if n is even. If n is odd, then g of n is the probability of visiting 0 for the first time after n plus 1 steps. In this summation, subtract and add 1 to 2k. Split this into two sums. Start the first sum from 0. When k is 0, we have 0 choose 0 over 4 to the 0. That's 1. We can start the sum from 0 and subtract 1. Then we have this summation here. This is f0, 0 of k. If the sum is from 1 to infinity, we get 1. We can write down this sum as 1 minus the sum to infinity, starting from the floor of n over 2 plus 1. Both sums have a closed form. This is the expected value of the number of distinct points visited during the first n steps. We can simplify it more by examining the cases of even and odd n values. We get this result here. This is the expected value of interest as a function of n. The last thing to do is to examine this expected value as n gets large for large k and using Stirling's approximation, k factorial is approximately the square root of 2 pi k, k to the k, e to the minus k. We can apply this to 2m factorial and also to m factorial, dividing we get that the binomial coefficient 2m choose m when m is large is approximately 4 to the m over square root pi m. So the binomial coefficient 2 floor n over 2 choose floor n over 2 divided by 4 to the power floor n over 2. This is approximately 1 over square root pi floor n over 2. This part here is either 0 or 1 and is negligible when n gets large. So we have 2n. As n gets large, this is approximately 2n over square root pi n over 2. This is 2 times the square root of 2, the square root of n over the square root of pi. This is the expected value of the number of distinct points visited in a simple random walk when n is sufficiently large. The expected value is proportional to the square root of n.